Okay, so today I want to talk to y'all about this. This right here. This ugliness. Ah! So it's very tempting when you start getting into wigs uh, to order the cheap ones. Th the problem is the very first wig that I ever bought was on Amazon for less than 25 bucks and I saw somebody on TikTok recommend it and I bought it and I thought, okay, all wigs from Amazon are gonna be this good. No. <laughs> No. What I'm gonna attempt to do today is I am going to follow some YouTube tutorials that I've seen about how to make this. When you have a basic cap uh, that is not front lace, so let's zoom in. Oh, I mean, who has a straight line uh, where your scalp is? You know, you gotta have little hairs and that just, that looks, that looks terrible. So this is not a usable wig at all. It would never leave my house. So what we're gonna attempt to do today is we're gonna try to fix this. We're gonna try to make this look a little more natural and if it doesn't work, then I haven't lost anything. So if you're interested in seeing what we're gonna do and if it turns out, then just stay tuned. I have had uh, way more misses than hits uh, when it comes to wigs and some of them I've even uh, bought expensive wigs and they've been awful um, and so I can insert a picture here um, but I was just getting into them and uh, and I bought it off of eBay from an eBay store uh, and I will never do that again done I'm I bought I bought two of those never nope Never, never, never. So anyway, I think this was around $20. Uh, it came from AliExpress or Ally Express, however you say that. Uh, took it a while to get here, but in the meantime, so I ordered it. One of the first things that I ordered when I got into wigs, I thought, yes, that's gonna be awesome. Then I learned a little bit. And if you're gonna show off your forehead, never order a basic cap. You have to have lace front if you're gonna show this off. Um, and so I'm gonna attempt to work with it. Okay, so there's a couple of things before we operate on her. Uh, there is a way, if I could get my bangs out, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I can get some of my bangs out, and they're gonna just stick straight out, so this is not gonna be a good thing. My wig grip is working. Okay, so if I had, if, <laughs> if my bangs weren't sticking straight out, uh, you, you might, it depends on the style, Probably not gonna work with this one, but I could try to blend my bangs in with it and that, oh, this looks terrible. Uh, if I had some root spray, then I might could blend those little baby hairs in with this. Okay, and that doesn't look like the worst thing ever and it's not the right color. But if I had some root spray or some, maybe some brown um, dry shampoo. Um, so that is one option and I'm not loving it. So the other option is to take this off and operate on it. So that's what we're gonna do. Ah, that's terrible, that's so funny. <laughs> we're just gonna stay like that. So let's look at the inside. Has this little flap right here. We see it? I'm gonna attempt to cut this off. Right there, it's sewn on the edges. Sewn right here and right here. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to show y'all because I can't hold it up here and cut. Okay, so it worked out pretty well. I just slid the tip of the scissors underneath that little felt. And I'm gonna just cut right there. Oh, it's done, did you hear it? Okay, so I made one little snip. I can get underneath here and just start cutting the threads away from here. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so now that I've gotten that felt cut, it really didn't do anything. That was just to make it nice and comfy on your forehead and I'll cut it off. So this rose lace stuff is what I'm gonna need to cut. So that's, I need to dig in there. So let's try that and see. Okay, so I've just poked a hole now in the lace, 
that was underneath that little felt piece and I'm just cutting right next to where that was sewn together. Ah, I see a little hairs in there, so we're getting somewhere. I just opened that up by cutting a hole into that lace. So I'm just cutting this open. Okay. So I've cut once I entered once I got in that lace, this is the lace chunk right here. And I'm cutting that away, and then there are little hairs sticking out in this rubber piece. I'm gonna try to keep that rubber piece intact. I'm cutting this fabric off. And there's like three layers there. Coming under here. Just making sure there's nothing that's holding that down. I want this to, to flip out. Right there. Okay. I have cut this loose. See this little rubber piece? That's what we want. And so I'm gonna try to take, oh, just pull that off, okay. Ho, ho, ho. We have this little ridge where the hairs were, where it was folded under like this. So now if it's flattened out, it still has a hump. It still has a ridge right here. This is the ridge. I think I'm going to cut along that. I mean, what do we got to lose, you know? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I've got is I've pulled this hair forward. This was all on the edge before that ridge. So I'm just going to plan on cutting along and it's going to fall put this over here. Okay, so I lost this much. And here's that little ridge, that front piece. I cut that off. So let's see what we're left with. It's on the floor. Let's see what we're left. Okay. That looks better already. That looks like scalp. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> it's always a shock. It looks like, oh, Gomez Adams. <laughs> it's supposed to be all kind of hanging forward like this. And we might could work with that if we steamed it. I'm not loving it. I mean, I would be too self-conscious to wear that out in public. <laughs> I would. Just being honest, I definitely would be too self-conscious. This is why you buy a lace front. That would look better. Let's see, if I could steam it forward. Let me plug my steamer in. It's my wig grip in the wrong place. Okay. Hey, that's not horrible. That's really not horrible. See, the way those are hanging, oh, they're hanging better now. I think steaming it in place, I think we may get somewhere. Ooh, we might have just saved this wig. I mean, which is the whole point of the video, right? So my plan is, let me kind of map this out before I get it over there on the mannequin. I'm gonna take, what is that, about an inch? Half an inch? I'd say half an inch. Right there next to that part, and I'm gonna try to steam it where they go this way. Because I think if those would lay flat and hide more of that, where so right now they're, they're just starting out and then going over, they're kind of sticking straight up right here. I mean, and it lays down for a split second. Okay, so let's try, let's put it on the mannequin head. It's just uh, whatever your confidence level is. And mine is not high, because I have not been wearing wigs very long, and so I already feel like everybody's staring at me. So if I thought that they were looking at my scalp, that would really bother me. Okay, so let's peel this baby off put it on here. It looks a lot better. Man, I am in shock. What I want to do, I'm going to take that two little front pieces and I'm going to try to pull them forward and let them lay flat and we're going to see if we can steam that. Oh! Okay, that looks like it's laying better. See, this is how it kind of it goes up and over. Well, I'm trying to solve that problem, so 
pulling that down into the side. So we hang down and then now I'm just going to kind of press this. These are plastic fibers so can't really use a major amount of heat but my steam is not that hot. Down in the direction that I want it to go. One more hit of steam. Okay. Okay, so I'm just pulling this down. I want this to lay flat right there. I wish I could hold my hand there in steam, but no, not a good idea. I want you down. I'm going to put this on low. Here we go. Let me show y'all what it looks like under there now. And this is kind of a rubberized scalp piece. They are hanging over those little seams. I don't know, what do y'all think? And it's stuck right to my forehead. So that is the best that we can get it. I'm not gonna say that it is 100% fixed. I'm not gonna say that if you have a basic cap that you could do surgery on it and make it a lace front, cause it's not a lace front, but it looks a lot better. That is the finished product. You probably would put, would wanna put a wig cap on underneath this. I don't have a wig cap on. I just have clips in there. So let's see, we'll look at the back. I like this style. That's not bad. I don't, I don't know that anybody's gonna be up that close to look at the ridge there. Uh, hmm. I don't know what y'all can see from the camera. Um, you know, if we zoom in, that's what we're looking at. Not the worst thing ever. It's definitely better than where we started. We had that just that hard line. Uh, this lays a lot better. If you were at a normal social distance, dang, we're social distance when we need it. <laughs> if you were at a social distance, I don't think you could tell. I think it's getting us, you know, closer. I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to wear this out. I might take a selfie or two in it. Okay, so Taylor is the lace front name brand version of this wig. We're doing the cheap wannabe version <laughs> of Taylor. So, um, I don't know, it's not that bad. The more I look at it, the whole video at the end, we just say, okay, bye Taylor Noriko. Uh, so that pretty much is where I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> All right, so y'all have a good one and uh, tell me what you think. Does this look too fake? Terrible, don't go out in public, stay home, wear a hat. You can wear a hat, There, that's our, that's our solution. Right there, just wear a hat. Comment and let me know what y'all see. Um, if it's one that just needs to be a hat wig, <laughs> then let me know that. All right, I will see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys!